Hi folks, so in this video what we're going to be doing is completing an exercise based on polygons where we're going to be completing an octagon inside of this square here, okay? So this is often a question that might come up as a short answer question in, a, in an exam and you have to know the construction to complete it. So how you do it is we want to connect the diagonals inside of the square. So starting off, they should meet at an angle of 45 degrees, but I'm just using my set square here. I'm going to connect diagonal there. And diagonal here. After connecting the diagonals, technically I have now found the center of my square, right in there. Now using your compass, okay, I'm going to index four corners. Okay, I'm going to call this corner A, B, C, and D. Now with my compass, I'm going to position the compass point on corner A and using the lead part of the compass and put it on the center point of my square. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to swing an arc to cut the edges of the square. And all I've done there now is I have identified two points on my octagon. One here and one here. I'm going to follow that same uh, step and I'm going to repeat it as I go around the square. I've done it from A, now I'm going to put the compass point on B. Make sure it's going into the center. There we go. I've now identified two more points. One there and there. Repeat the process then for C and D. There's C, finally D. Okay, and a little bit darker, so you can see it a bit better. Okay, now that I've found all the points, all it is now is a case of drawing in my octagon. Okay, switch out to a marker here. There we go. So now that I have all my points, these two points right here should meet at an angle of 45 degrees. I'm accurate. I'm happy with that. So there's that edge. Now I'm going to heavy in the bottom. Likewise on this side. If we're accurate, it should meet at an angle of 45 degrees. In this case, it's working out for me, so my accuracy is good. I'll put in my vertical line. Other vertical line. And then finally, finish it off at the top. There we have it. Okay, so there it is, guys. That is how you complete an octagon inside of a square. I hope you found it helpful.